Hello, hello, my lovelies. Sigita here again, and this time I am having folio with journal. I have been creating this for 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 a while now. It's not as much as creating as uh, just you know <clears throat> we saw what happened. I am a little bit behind all my work, but anyway. I am here with this folio. I really, really like it. Obviously. <laughs> right, let's talk about measurements. Seven and a half by nine and a half, I would say, without any any of these uh, laces hanging over. So, what we are having here is folio lovely lovely flip with laces rusted ones with white laces and rust this is real rusted like little ring jump ring i don't know how to call it and then i put little uh down as a little heart a little charm and i just i just was sitting up for this video and I was thinking, I really love rusted uh, fabrics with like crispy white and red uh, stitching. That's kind of why I'm in now. I really, really like that. Anyway, let's get in. So we have flip up, right? All stitched. And then we have folio part. And then we have journal part. So let's uh, first let's um, journal is available on Etsy. So if you are uh, uh, having, if you are wishing to receive it, so uh, yeah, is on my Etsy. So inside is a journal, and this is four and a half by nine, a long envelope on the front, a long envelope on the back, and I just covered with like papers they are printables and you have large pocket and you have large pocket so i think that's really nice kind of cover for uh, like everyday journal so nothing there a uh, fabric strip all all just like holds these um envelopes together and in here I just put, I will go uh, through, just papers. This is just whatever you want to do, of course. If you want to uh, put some pockets in and you can all do that, you can collage it. But this is more like for writing and then rest, you know, bits and pieces you can put in a, in a folder. But that's completely up to you. So what I'm having here, here is Ecodite uh, papers. Uh, these are like real ones not printed and as well i really like that when i just little bit a stamped script, a script stamp on the side and peony i love that so again in this journal i did a uh, black paper yes i am going to uh make a video tutorial how i make not these black ones but that really grungy black paper pack uh, as soon as I start to think I have to do it, uh, it starts to rain, but I need the sun. So, <laughs> now let's wait for sun. Okay, so just coffee stained and coffee stained and like different, different papers in as well. Again, echo uh, dyed and coffee stained. This is um wrapping paper some book pages and this is from that crazy crazy uh grungy uh paper pack so i really love how they look in a journals so this is yeah i just put it together nice with different papers and a little bit of stamping and then is up to you how you know you want to use it I just quickly just go through it. Nice. Like, you know, real, real nice papers. I love these kind of papers. Not a lot, you know, um, uh, printed or um, 
with some images on just simply for writing for notes and then bits and pieces you can put you know in the large pockets a lot of space and you can tie around if you want to this is not covered is with not, nothing at all it's just paper as it is and this one as well right so what we are having in a um folio option so uh folio itself is is um base is from file folder so uh i have actually when i started to make this file a folder folio i have tutorial uh on a youtube if i remember <laughs> i will put link down below so anyway uh, we are having little corner pocket down there with two tags i love these tags so one is embroidered this is hand what wouldn't really call us always embroidered like stitching with black uh, embroidery thread and some twine up there they are on a cardstock so they are quite sturdy what i like uh, of course as always very small tiny uh, side uh, tuck spot or pocket and these lovely roses small journaling cards and this is print on the back and then these lovely lovely uh journaling cards this is as well on a card stock and is actual um collage is not a print and few different papers uh, some white embossed paper that uh resin paper nice and shiny and see-through and some dangles and white seam binding i didn't know that's obviously someone sent me in a happy mail some time back because in my country we don't have seam binding as us so yeah i was like oh my god i have to use that and this is as well exactly the same setup with some stamp and actual uh, actual collage and in the back they are quite big four by five and what is that three fourth all right so this is in the front embellish uh, embellishing here yeah a little bit of embellishing i put some rusted um safety pin here butterflies little bit of uh, like vintage uh green uh paint some laces yeah that's kind of as it is flips over and on the back it's almost the same little tuck spot or little side pocket with three lovely lovely uh rose uh journaling cards two tags and one is embroidered right some a corner uh, pocket and piece and again two very similar with row with pink buttons papers you know journaling card and papers and journaling card right and as well embellished on a back a little bit of laces and fabrics and butterflies scribbles a little bit of stamp and as well as that green vintage uh, paint goes through and then i just stitched it all you know all together and uh, inked it on the, on the edges so yes my lovely so this is what you get this is what you are getting now my next project i i have some small project in my mind and yeah you will you you will see what it is it was something i haven't made it before which is really interesting so but let's put journal no first let's put this in otherwise again when i put the, jo the journal in 
I cannot get these um, pockets open because the journal is quite, quite, you know, it's not big, but for this holder, it's quite big. Right, my lovelies, thank you, thank you so much. As I said, it's available on Etsy. And the price, as always, is one price, including all Etsy fees and shipping. Uh, yeah, so this is how it is. I just want to push it more down, but no, it's not pushing down. Right, and a yeah, little nice nice journal as well right my lovelies thank you so so first of june imagine first of june in my mind i am in march because when uh, i had like doctor's appointment and she said like mid of may and that was beginning of the may and i was like oh my god why is so long to wait and blah 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 and she was like but it's just two weeks and i was like Oh, wait a minute, it's May already. <laughs> I was like in April, no, in a March, you know, and just it always it's, it's like I'm so behind this weather, this and time and month, and that's crazy. We have quite a cold outside, and, and it's quite rainy as well, but you know, I'm fine with it. I don't, well, I'm not a very, you know, a hot weather person anyway, so I'm quite happy. Right, my lovelies, thank you so, so much. Please enjoy your week, of course. See you very probably soon. And yeah, as I said, I have some new projects in my mind, but there are a few new techniques and new uh, tools involved. So I have to little bit learn it more which takes probably a few days to do that and then i we will see what i can come up with right my lovelies enjoy your day and see you soon